Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, call Hello Yahweh, Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem Rakal Kodash. And once again, double honors go out to the apostles, bishops, and elders of Great Millstone who deserve double honors. All right, salutations to the fellow Aki out there on the highways and byways, pushing his truth all honest and sincerity. Trying to wake up the remaining, hopefully, like this is not on the DC camp. Uh, hopefully, this, I'm coming back to this uh, software here, see if it'll. Uh, do me any good this time around. Anyway, so this video, see this piece of shit here in the picture? Uh, what you're going to find out, and this is why, and there are other videos on this, and I wholeheartedly agree, a lot of what Jake was taught when it comes to Christianity it's not in the scriptures. And what I'm talking about is this forgive everybody uh, concept. No matter what they do to you. So you got to be careful with this because it's allowed everyone, that mentality, that mindset has allowed everyone to walk all over us. And I'm thinking of, uh, let me get this scripture here. Uh, let's see. All right. And this is why the attitudes of these immigrants, especially when I'm thinking of, uh, this is the last verse in the 51st chapter of Isaiah. It says, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee. Remember, we're under the curses. All right. This is a, another tell. All right or an indicator as to who our people really are. Remember this. We are under the curses. It says, but I will put it into the hand of them that afflict thee, which have said to thy soul, bow down, that we may go over. And thou, Salaki, and thou hast laid thy body as the ground, and we have, trying to be, and overly so, I might add, accommodating to everyone and anyone but our own again part of the curse Deuteronomy 28 54 through 56 all right and thou hast laid thy body as the ground and as the street to them that went over another part of this to consider everyone wants to come over and rub shoulders with us and be all nice and this is in large part due to the so-called civil rights movement oh. and pretend to like us of course and jump on that bandwagon and we jump on theirs and lo and behold they end up with more rights and privileges than, than we and it goes to show you that hatred, because who's behind all this? It's the so-called white man whose biblical nationality is the nation of Edom, the descendants of Jacob's brother, whose name was Esau. This is the basis for all the hatred. It's not because you're black. That makes absolutely no sense, but those comedic and Egypt, you know, all, you know, that, that crowd, the, the Muslims, uh, just, you know, clowns, all right, they'll feed into that, uh, that, that bullshit when it's been in your face all along. It's been sitting in your, your living rooms, those, you know, grew up, you know, but you, you never read it for yourself. And I'm talking about the Bible, of course. You never investigate it, I guess I should say. You never were curious enough to even start or even want to look deeper. You just believe what some asshole told you. Oh, the white man wrote the Bible. Really? But again, who is the white man when it comes to the Bible? If you would but 
understand this and look into this, you will find out that the Bible condemns this piece of shit. All right? There is no chance for him to repent. This is why, and it is related, this is why the so-called Jews don't deal with the Bible. They deal with the Talmud because that's some shit that they wrote. If, again, you would bother to read, you would find out that what's in that Talmud would turn your stomach. Alright, you know, there was, when we, back in the military, boy, we were heavy into playing spades and shit. And I remember uh, this, uh, this Edomite. He's from Indiana. I guess that's an Indiana thing. But he used to, well, when he gets into it, well, he'd tell a motherfucker quick, he said, go suck a fat baby's dick. All right? And we were like, what the fuck is he talking? Well, lo and behold, I don't know where he got it from. Maybe he knew something I didn't way back when. All right? But uh, that's what these so-called Jews, you know, these rabbis in particular, you know, that's what they do. And I'm like, and other things about cohabitating with three-year-olds and shit like that. But again, that's a whole nother video. But my point is, these people are sick, demonic individuals. All right. And this video I'm about to show you is going to highlight that. Because what we have here is going into a famous, not famous, but infamous lynching picture that I'm sure we've all seen in books such as um, uh, 100 Years of Lynching by Ralph Ginsburg, uh, Without Sanctuary, and uh, what was the other one? Um, at the Hands of Persons Unknown. Uh, and it's this famous picture that happened in Indiana. All right. Uh, but he's going to go into this, and this one old-ass Edomite woman who's still recalling in her memory the events, and she's doing it with glee. Listen to this shit. This Jake is going to, you know, but this is why, why are you, and I'm talking about Jake now, so quick to forgive when nobody wants to forgive you. No one's going out of their way. Just had the other day an 11-year-old cops. He's the one that called the cops for his mother. And the cops end up shooting him in his home. 11 years old. I think he just got out of the hospital recently. 11 years old. Cops didn't give him no automatically. Bow! I think shot him twice. 11 years old. So it don't matter. You know, there's scripture talking about they, you know, they had, I'm paraphrasing, they had no mercy against our young or our old. All right. So let's go ahead and roll this. Why is this sweet old white lady smiling? She's doting over her adorable grandchildren. She's lamenting the love of her life. She's giddily reminiscing about the brutal public lynching of a black man at which she was present as a child. Now for the reveal. So they let him down and broke his arms so he couldn't hang on to the rope. They pulled him up again. Does white supremacy being a strictly good old boys club line up with history? Well, let's ask the people who were there, starting with a black man who was supposed to be one of the murdered in the lynching that Granny is giddily reminiscing about. Well, let's go ahead. I'll, I'll... 10 to 15,000 whites out there screaming for the blood of us three blacks. And how does a white man who was there recall the events? So, in case you all aren't familiar with what I was talking about, this is the event. This happened in Indiana in 1930. And uh, he was the one that got away. The elder Jake you saw there. This is the lynching of Thomas Ship and Abram Smith. All right. It says the, they were African-American so-called men who were murdered in a spectacle lynching by a group of thousands on August 7th, 1930 in Marion, Indiana. I believe that's where the federal prison is. It says, they were taken from jail cells, beaten and hanged from a tree in the county courthouse square. And you heard her say they let him down, broke his arm so he couldn't grab hold of the rope to try to, you know, get some slack, you know, create some slack. These are some barbaric 
animalistic pieces of shit. And it's always been there. It's always there. It's just under the surface. And a lot of you who have been fooled by this caveman in a suit are going to find that out very shortly here. All right. When things can continue to go to shit, which they are as far as the economy. All right. He said they had been arrested that night as suspects in a robbery, murder, and rape case. A third African-American so-called suspect, and you saw him on the video briefly, 16-year-old James Cameron, had also been arrested and narrowly escaped being killed by the mob. An unknown woman and a local sports hero intervened and he was returned to jail. He later stated that Ship and Smith had committed the murder, but that he had run away before that event. But they still gave him time because they said he was an accessory. See, he'll do that, but he don't want to be, I'm talking about the so-called white man. Oh, you were an accessory, do you? but he don't want to be charged. Say, you see the hypocrisy? Again, that's another video. Oh, okay. So let's go back. I didn't want to take much time on this. And let's finish this out. Now you're going to get old grandpa here. A woman was standing up there and just, they was all going crazy. She jumped down and her high heels just streaked a hole, just like cut with a knife down his back. Racism against black people. Did you hear that? On the part of white with her heels, she went down his back and said, and he's saying that it could open his back, just like, a, you know, man. Mm. And you all, A lot of you all will want to give the so-called white woman a pass. No, she's just as much a devil, all right, as her, her man, all right, the cave beast. <laughs> white people has been a family affair. Yeah. We out you. It's been a family affair. A family affair. All right. And still to this day, everybody's talking about you know, reparations, this, it. the motherfucker is not, you, here's the thing. If you've noticed when it comes to our people, they always want to direct you in towards, uh, what's that word? Uh, recon, reconciliation. Let's look up that word. They always want to, I just heard, and I may do an, uh, um, um, uh, is a mayor of a particular city. Let's see. Here it is. Reconciliation. And they're talking about, uh, actually it is Tulsa, Oklahoma. They say you have this one woman that's still alive. She's 107 now, something like that. And, uh, you know, <laughs> she's telling the story about, we know what happened. It says reconciliation, the act of reconciling, the condition of being reconciled, the act of uh, let's see. Now let's go into it further. Let's see. All right. Well, oh, that's not what I want. Nope, 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 nope. All right. Dang it. Let's go to, uh, let's see if I can find it without going all over. Uh, let's see. Where is it? 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 God dang it. I didn't mean it. Oh boy. Salaki. Damn it. Oh, God, I just can't. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. Reconcile. There we go. No, not recon. There we go. All right, mid 14th century as a verb. All right. 
to restore to union and friendship after estrangement or variance. How can you, after reading that little bit, overcome distrust or hostility of by soothing and pacifying? Well, you got that right because our people have been and are being pacified. No, and this, speaking of this particular mayor of Tulsa, he had the nerve of saying, well, we just, you know, our objective is just to um, uh, take care, in other words, paraphrasing here, they're concerned with doing good by the people that got killed, not their descendants. You hear that shit? But yet, when it comes to this fucking hollow hoax shit, you know what I'm talking about. And it's still going on because what do you think that shit with Ukraine is about? Again, them, those people, pretending to be us, getting more money. Again, they have other avenues. This International Federation of Christians and Jews. I get so sick of that fucking commercial. It's the same thing. Bilking people, making people feel sorry for something that happened to them fucking almost 80 years ago now. And yet, these are the people that own every fucking thing. And they're still conning people. Like, yeah, that's what it is. All right. Out of money. Again, all this transference of wealth continually happens. And all our people are concerned with, like the incident would happen with this, uh, this announcer, uh, sports announcer that, uh, I guess they went to some, I guess it was the uh, Negro League uh, Museum. He goes on air and says, you know, nigger. Now you tell me, does a slip of the tongue, which everybody said, oh, it's, he lost his job. It was just a slip. Does that happen to our sports and newscasters? Fuck no. All right. So anyway, again. Overcome distrust. How? You're still doing these things to us. Alright. You always find a way. So why should we be in this forgiving mode? Look at the state of our people. And they know this. They allow others to come over here. Now let's go to reconciliation. Let's go to, hold on. Uh, let's see, right as a noun. Alright. Come on now. It says, renewal of friendship. After disagreement or enmity. What is enmity? It's hatred. Action of reaching accord with an advisory or one estranged. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> with an adversary. Ugh. All right. Or one estranged. <sighs> There's no fucking way. Let me put it like this. The Most High, when you go into the dictionary, which I don't have right now, the Bible dictionary, it tells you the nation of Edom, which these so-called white people are. All right, it says it's the site of great future judgment. All right. And also that of all the neighbors... Well, the nation of Israel, they're the only ones that will receive no mercy from the Most High. How about that? Ecclesiastes 3 and 15. Let's get that real quick. Because our people are so quick to use love everybody. Really. Let's see about that. 3 and 15. That. Remember, at the top here, we're talking about, what, a time for everything, right? Okay. Remember, a time to kill, verse 3, a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. All right, a time to weep and a time to laugh. Let's go to 15. It says, the God-given task. It says, that which hath been, all right, Let's say 14. I know that whatsoever the Most High doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. What does that sound like? I'll, I'll get the scripture. 
and the Most High doeth it that men should fear before him. 15. That which hath been is now, and that which is to be hath already been, and the Most High requireth that which is past. So who are you assholes out there talking about? All right. That the Most High doesn't hate. You never <laughs> read Isaiah 45 and 7. All right. And the one I'm getting ready to get after this, Malachi 3 and 6, where it tells you that the Most High does not change. Hold on. For all you people that say, well, that was the Old Testament. You know, you got them pork chop eating. All right. Malachi 3 and 6. For I am the Most High, Yahweh. That's his name. When you have Lord in all caps, that's his name there, Yahweh. I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. All right. So, specifically, this is talking about all the things that are happening to Jacob. All right. They're not going to be done away with. All right. And you can... <laughs> Back that up with what Paul says in Romans 11. And well, Romans 9, chapters 9 and 11. All right. I don't know what. It, oh, I understand through the scriptures and a lot of others understand through the scriptures. Because we know that there are those that are blocked as far as getting it. And it's been done deliberately. We understand that. What we're trying to reach are the ones that, hey, you repent, you come back into this, and that's the huge thing there, is repentance. Hey, that Psalms 51 is a very powerful, powerful uh, chapter in Psalms. All right, you're talking about uh, the first several verses. That's repentance. All right. Uh, actually, the whole chapter, but especially the first few verses. All right, I think it's five, six, maybe seven, something like that. All right, but anyway, so yeah, going back, I mean, the video's over, that's you know, but here are our people, we got this, and this is what Christianity has done to our people. All right, this is what it's a mind fuck, it really is, and our people are all trapped up in that, and that Muslim shit, too, all that shit. All right. All these heathen religions. Ishmael is a he's a heathen. You know. And they try to say, you know, the Bible has been changed. No, but your Quran has, and I got proof. So please come to me with that argument. I mean, that's a whole nother video too, but as far as this, you know, we're done. I hope whoever has viewed this is edified. This is something else, you know. Uh God is love. Really? No, there's another part to that equation there. All right? The most high is the most high. <laughs> like I said, read Isaiah 45 and 7. And it helps when you look at these other uh, translations. All right? We prefer the King James because, you know, 1611 because it's the closest thing to the actual Hebrew. That's how we know that that hasn't changed. But now if you're looking at the other variants in the English, yeah, they reworded some things. That's not, you know, you got to make that, that's a different argument than saying, well, the white man changed it. But no, the Hebrew, and you get into it, you say, again, that's a whole different video. Okay, but our people, you know, they keep falling for the okie doke, and it's for a reason, because the most house allowed them to, do, to fall for it. But in any case, here it is, we're talking about these sick fucks, the so-called white man, who our people are so quick to forgive. You know, we have these bootlicks and sambos amongst us. You know, they just given up, and they'll do anything that Massa tells them to do in order to get some, you know, some moolah, some, some money, some, you know, debt notes. And you got to keep away from them people and be very wary of them. All right. So, uh, yeah, until the next video. Hey, Shalom.